Hi guys, welcome to the video, Salt here. Today, we're going to be going over the Granum Void. Now, just a little bit of a disclaimer about myself, is I'm an LR4 with over 5,000 hours in the game, and my goal is to provide builds and guides for players to have an easier time in Warframe. So, uh, the Granum Void we decided to do today just uh, as a... Um, an additional video after we had just done the Zorus. The Zorus is a glaive that kind of combos really well with the, with the Granum Void because it's kind of part of the uh, the mission for it. <laughs> so that's why we're doing it. The top commenter of the last video is Matthias Rojas. And the first commenter of the last video, uh, there was two of them I couldn't tell who was first. It's either Hey Abelionis or Crabs on Crack. Okay, so the Granum Void, what is it? The Granum Void is a uh, parallel universe. That's going to be my guess. I'm actually not very versed in Warframe lore, despite playing a lot of it. Um, doesn't interest me very much, but my head canon is that it's a parallel universe, so that's what we're going with here. So it's a parallel universe that you enter to farm items and also to spawn your sister. Okay? Now, if you want to start farming items in the Granum Void... You're first going to be needing to complete the Deadlock Protocol mission. So uh, make sure in your little mission list you have the Deadlock Protocol done or you just you know work your way up to it and then you'll be able to do this. To spawn a sister, you will need to have completion of the War Within and the Call of the Tempestari and uh, being MR5 at least. Okay, so why do you want to do the Granum Void? Uh, we already said that, farming and spawning a sister. And what, what are you going to be farming? You're going to be farming the Stalta, which is a primary weapon. Pretty, pretty good primary weapon. The Strofa, which is a like average to above average gun blade. The Velox, which is about an average secondary. And Protea parts to make Protea. Uh, there's also some other like little uh, weird stuff in there. Like there's some decorations for the orbiter. There's some cosmetic pieces. Uh, of course, there's like credits, void traces, endo as some of the rewards. Um, so yep, yeah. there are three different granum voids, and you get to these granum voids by paying a token. Okay, so how do you get a token first? Well, you have to do a corpus tile set. Uh, a Corpus Ship tile set, I should say. Sorry. Corpus Ship tile set. You're going to be able to tell these tile sets. Uh, if I just go to the navigation, they literally look like a ship. So if I go to uh, Pluto, one I the one I, I do frequently is I go to Pluto and I do it on Hydra. And Hydra will spawn a dude called a treasurer. Treasurers will spawn within two to four minutes of your mission on regular non-endless missions and on endless missions they're going to spawn in three to eight minutes <clears throat> once the treasurer spawns you'll have 90 seconds to kill him okay the treasurer is going to have 99 percent shield damage reduction and 98 percent health damage reduction and toxic procs don't work on them like they don't bypass the shields and they also won't spawn if a player is within 35 meters of the extract. So if you're doing like multiplayer and someone's like trying to speed run and he's sitting on extract, he probably won't spawn. Alrighty. Um, now the token, like I said, there's three granum voids. And to get to each one, you have to spend a token. There's three tokens. There's a granum crown. There's the exemplar granum crown. And there's, then there's the zenith granum crown. The treasurer that you kill will drop a granum crown the crown that he drops is dependent on the level that you do so do you see how hydra here it says corpus level 30 to 34 all right let me go over the levels so the granum crown the first tier is level 0 to 15 so you can't be doing pluto for that you probably have to do like let me look at venus probably venus somewhere here uh ishtar what is ishtar here Level 6 to 8. Yeah, so this would be like where you would farm for the regular Granum Crown. Or any, you know, it, it looks like a ship. So just look for a ship tile set. And make sure that, that it's nothing weird, right? It's not like an assassination mission. There's not uh, infested on it. It just has to be a regular ship tile set. 
Okay, so the 0 to 15 levels are going to drop the regular Granite Crowns. The 16 to 30 leveled missions are going to drop the Exemplar Granum Crowns. And the 30 and above leveled missions are going to drop the Zenith. So when I do Pluto normally on Hydra, because it's level 30 to 34, this will drop Zenith coins for me when I kill that treasure. Okay, now you're going to want to actually farm all three of these. And it's because the parts for all of these things, like the weapons and the, the Warframes, they're scattered around in the first, second, and third tier uh, Granum Voids. So... You know, you would think, well, I'm just going to do the, the highest one, Hydra. Well, if you want everything, you're actually going to have to do the other two tiers as well. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we explained the treasures. They're a special little dude that's going to spawn, I think. Yep. What we have now is we have uh, Other Salt out in the field. He's going to show you how to uh, hunt one of these treasures down. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to him now. Here he is. Hey, guys. Other salt here. We just had a Corpus Treasurer spawn. What we're going to be doing is hunting him down like the animal he is, bolting him through the heart with our bow and arrow, and then we're going to feast on his delicious insides. All right, let's get to it. So that little red mark is going to be the treasure. There we go. And he's going to drop his little uh, coin there. You're going to pick it up. This one is a Zenith coin, coin. so you're going to pick it up, and there you go. You got your coin there. All right, I'm going to uh, bring it back to Salt. All right, amazing job, other Salt. Amazing job. So that is the uh, little treasure he killed there. He got the Zenith crown because that was on Hydra that he was farming that on. Okay, so now that you have your little token, now you have to get into the Granum Void, right? You actually have to find a place to spend that token. Well, you do that in the same place. You have to go to a Corpus ship tile set. So be, be looking for the little ship uh, uh, nodes on the map. And in those nodes, there are these giant golden fist statues that are scattered around. Sometimes a map will have one. Sometimes a map will have, you know, friggin' four of them. So it really depends. I've even been to some maps where it looks like they have none, but it, it could have been like hidden down a, a weird hallway or something. Uh, but most of the maps are going to have one of these fists. You go to the fist. You're going to clear enemies around it because it, it will literally not let you spend the coin unless uh, you clear the dudes around it. So make sure no dudes are like right around the, the, the Granum Void uh, opening or the fist. And when you interact with the terminal right in front of it, it's going to give you an option to spend your Granum coins. You can either spend a first, second, or third tier one. So it's up to you. And then a little portal will open. You'll jump through the portal. It'll take you to that other realm. And in the realm here, in the Granum Void, this is where you have to... Uh, it's like a mini game, basically. You're on a timer. You're on a time limit. You have to kill a certain number of errant specters before the time runs out. The errant specters are the flying dudes that aren't ghosts. When you kill the errant specters, they will turn into specter particles. Now, the specter particles are actually good for you. So if, if you can kill those specter particles with your Zorus, which is your little uh, glaive that we went over in the previous uh, video we did, if you can kill those Spectre Particles, it'll actually charge your Zorus up. And when you're at three charges, when you go to explode your Zorus, it's going to be a much bigger radius. So it increases your killing power of your Zorus. Uh, and it also allows, at three charges, it also allows for you to save prisoners. There are three prisoners in the Granum Void. This is all very weird if you've never been to the Granum Void, but just bear with me because I'll have another video kind of explaining this. Um, so there's three prisoners in the Granum Void. If you throw and explode your gla glaive near those prisoners with three charges, you will get an extra 20 seconds added to your time limit in the Granum Void. And because there's three prisoners, that's another entire minute that you can get if you save all three of them. Also, scattered throughout the Granum Void, there are these little yellow triangles called particles that you can pick up and each of these little yellow triangles will give you five seconds. 
and also any of the little uh, specters you kill can also have a chance to drop particles. So not only are those little particles uh, scattered around, but a lot of times you'll actually just get them from killing the specters too. So they give you five seconds, the prisoners give you 20 seconds, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to reach the uh, kill number of errant specters in the time limit. You can still get rewarded if you don't reach that. Like there is a uh, A, B, and C rotation reward. So even if you kind of fail and you don't reach the kill limit, you'll still get something. But I just want to tell you that what you'll get is pretty doo-doo. So like the A and B rotations, which are not completing it, is basically just credits, void traces, and there's an orbiter decoration on the A rotation. Uh, the B rotation has credits, endo, and a corpus scene, which is on the B rotation. So like all the actual parts that you want and that you're probably farming for are on the C rotation, which is completing it. So you do want to try to complete this. It's not very hard to complete it. It's very easy to complete it, uh, especially if you're using the Zorus. There are some interesting frames and weapons you can bring into the granum void that will also kill those specters but i have always used the zorus and i feel like it's just super easy uh, because also you, you can't free like the prisoners with the, the other weapons and frames too you have to use the zorus for that so that that's why i feel like the zorus is the best but eh, who knows maybe maybe you like doing those other weird ways to do it as well so uh yeah, that, that's a lot of explaining for, you know, a lot of uh, weird things there. But what I'm going to do to try to help with that is I have other salt back out in the field. He's going to go into the granum void this time here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to him. Hey, guys, other salt here again. We're going to be taking you guys through a full run of the granum void here. So we're at the beginning of a capture mission on Hydra. So I'm just going to run through it. I'm going to be uh, taking note of any kind of golden fists that I see, because those are the doorways into the granum void. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this uh, capture target and try not to stagger myself. All right, we're going to head towards extraction, but we're looking for a golden fist on the way. There's actually usually one right... There it is. There's a golden fist right there. So that could be one of the doorways into the ground void. So it's going to make you kill enemies like around you first. So make sure there's like no one like right next to you. And then when you go up to the little terminal, it'll ask you which ground coin you want to put in. We're going to put the big one in. It's going to open this up. Now, uh, normally you don't want to be going into doorways that have a big fist outside of it. I did that one time and I could not crap straight for a week. So anyway, we're just going to be going in here and we're going to be slaying these little specters with our uh, Zorus. Whenever we get to three charges, whoop, you see three charges there? I'm going to run over to uh, one of the little prisoners here. That's probably too far away. And I'm going to explode it next to the prisoner. Oop, he's free. I get some uh, time and I get some Solaris standing. All right, we got three more, so we're going to go here. I'm going to free that prisoner. And go free the other prisoner, and that'll give us a bunch of uh, time. And now we can just finish the mission and, you know, kill the little uh, ghosties. Some of these ghosties are going to drop the triangles. Those triangles give you, I believe, five seconds. Salt will tell you exactly what the time is. Uh, but I believe they give you five seconds. So when you see them, make sure you pick them up. If you're in a group, make sure you're trying to stay all on, like, the same area. Uh, one of the, the bad things about being in a group is if you guys are spread out, the ghosts are also going to be very spread out. Which is not necessarily a good thing. See this little triangle? That's one of the uh, the extra times. Yeah, it looks like it's about five seconds. And if you see to the left, I, it has that little counter. Kills 59 out of 75. So I need a few more kills here. No big deal. See a little triangle, I'm going to pick it up for some time. See another triangle. Ooh. Particle 
There we go. So we finished the ground and void. Now it's going to uh, automatically bring us out of it. Uh, treasure is going to spawn pretty much uh, immediately. So you can actually replace the coin that you just got by killing the treasure, which is kind of cool. So we killed him. We can pick up a coin that we basically just spent. So now we... Like, we didn't spend anything. And this is not something I'm going to cover today. But this is also how you spawn a sister. Do you see that? That chick talking to me? That's one of the sisters. So we won't do the, the Lich and sister system today. But that that's also how you spawn that sister. Is, is uh, after the Granum Void, you get a certain number of kills. And uh, boom, she'll come out. And if I kill her, I think she's dead. I think she's just invisible. Yeah, she's over here. So if I walk next to her, it'll tell me what uh, weapon she can have when I when I take her. But And if I don't want, want that weapon, I can just finish the mission without doing the Secret Mercy. But if I wanted that weapon and I wanted to actually spawn a Sister Lich, I would do the Secret Mer Mercy and she would become my Lich or my Sister. That I would have to do the whole Lich system or Sister system to, uh, to complete. Which, again, we're not going over today, but that's... Just a little bonus on how to how to spawn in a sister. Get this in All right, let's uh, head to the end here, and we'll we'll see what we got for our special reward. Because the Granum Void is going to have uh, different rewards based on the coin that you put in. So we have a zenith. I forgot exactly what's on the zenith table. But we'll see. Let's see. Oh, it's a stalta barrel. That's pretty cool. I'll take a stalta barrel. It's actually tradable. You can make some money off of it. So uh, yeah, we'll. Send you back to uh, regular salt there in the orbiter. Okay, guys. All right, we're back, guys. So other salt went over uh, like the entire process of doing the granum void itself. And then uh, before that, he went over getting the coin from the treasurer. Although I guess he went over the treasurer again after the granum void there because he spawned right after it. So that's it. That's the uh, granum void. That's how to do it. Eventually, we will do a Lich and a Sister guide, and that will also cover a little bit of the Granum Void, uh, just because, of course, like, you know, spawning a Sister is part of it. So, I think that's everything, though, guys. If you like the video, consider giving it a like. If you haven't subbed yet, consider subbing, or tell me what I can do to earn your sub. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. All right.